Welcome Wargamers, Doug here from 2 Plus Stuff, and we are continuing our Conquest Paint Along League, although really you can paint anything you want. Really what this is, is I'm going to be doing these every once in a while to just kind of draw people out to get some hobby progress done. We'll share it with everybody. And if you're looking for details on how to join in with this, I have my first video linked in the description down below. Uh, we're taking this all the way through June, so like you're not behind or anything like that. Uh, basically, I have the entire thing broken up into three milestones. We just completed number one, uh, which was on the 14th. We just finished that up. And so in this video, I'm going to show off what I've been working on, as well as those of the community who have hopped on to Nerd Herder, which is sort of my um, hobby tracking app that I talked about in that first video. And so we're going to go through everyone's progress, talk about the next step for me and what you guys can do to join in if you're interested. Just one thing here, it's far from too late to jump in right now. Uh, we got people who just got their boxes, so that all they've done is build a few things. So you're not behind anybody. And if you'd like to save some money as you jump into this, you can use, do that by using my discount code down below for Parabellum. Every time you use that code, it's an affiliate link, you save money and it throws a tip in my tip jar and it means the world to me. Those kinds of things allow me to do stuff like buy models for the purposes of doing these leagues and get everyone excited. And it's just, it means a lot to me and my family. But with that out of the way, let's move into the uh, community progress. I'll start with myself because it's always awkward to go first. And uh, yeah, so what did I want to do? Well, initially I had this idea of doing two Apex Predators, one with the War Queen, one with uh, another writer, just the generic one, and then uh, Warbred and a thing of Braves. The thing is, is that immediately in that first episode, I was talking out loud and realizing what a terrible idea that was. And so I went ahead and took one of the Apex Predators off and put it to the third milestone just to kind of even things out so I'm not in a dead rush and then a slog at the end. So now my whole goal was the queen on Predator, uh, the 12, sorry, the 24 man unit of Braves, because now they come in bricks of four. I had six total, um, six stands of them, and then a minimum size of Warbred. So how'd they turn out? Let's take a look. I'm pulling these images from Nerd Herder, which kind of shrinks them down just a smidge, but I'm more than happy to uh, zoom in a bit. But yes, this is the progress that I have been able to make. Uh, to make this much easier on myself mentally, I decided to split the 24 man brick of Braves into two squads of 12. And so I started with 12 and then to reward myself I painted the apex predator and then I painted the other 12 and then to reward myself I had the war bread and then I finished it off with painting the actual queen on top because uh, I hadn't quite decided where I wanted to go with her feathers we talked about it on stream at one point I decided to go having them match the beast uh, this picture is a little bit bright but essentially it's the same teal and yellow that you can see right here in the eyes and the tail and stuff uh, the braves I do have right here in the bottom center have one uh, officer add-on that's the abomination and that makes it so that every time I fail a, a saving throw my opponent who's hitting me takes a wound in melee so the idea is like I can throw punches back for being punched real hard and that's a really cool idea I'm not sure if I'm going to use him a ton let me know if you have had success with him and down below but uh, I figured Braves are great because literally any one of the Wadroon heroes can take them so if nothing else I'm filling out that minimum rank and the Warbred are just super nice. Speaking of which, we'll move into those guys. I went ahead, as you can see here from the side, I have sort of like an ivory, it's not marble because I didn't do any work to make it marbly, but it is sort of like a, a Greek white plinth or, or pillar kind of a thing that they're using as weapons. And I did go a little bit excessive with the blood effects. Uh, the camera didn't quite capture it. It does look more subtle in person. For example, I went over with, uh, there's actually a lot more variety in reds here. There's like word bearers red for that really, really dark dried blood. There are some hints of purple. Um, when I dashed a little bit of blood for the blood god on at the end, now because when I take pictures, it reflects. So it doesn't quite capture it, but in person they look, they look pretty baller. I like them. Uh, for the skin, I actually painted painted them gray and then dry brushed on Ogren camo because I wanted them to have a, a, a tinge of green like the rest of my, my Wadroon, but be a little bit different because they do have these weird mutations and growths coming out of them and stuff. So I liked how these turned out. The Braves, as I said, uh, these guys really are just a matter of contrast painting and washes. Uh, the screen is Plague Bearer Flesh. It's my favorite green for painting orcs. I like the light skinned orcs where it's, uh, they kind of show bruising and blood a little bit more. So if I want to do those on specific characters, like they, it just pops more than on the darker green, I think. As far as the magenta cloth and stuff, I saw it on one model like forever ago. 
and I just I loved the color scheme it really is just barrack nar and for the highlights I use what is it sanguine highlight from p3 and it's it works really well but of course here is the main event the apex predator with my little queen on top and she is super baller now when I got this it was actually pre-magnetized so she pops right off which is really nice for painting uh, and I attack this guy with really two methods so the skin is a, a direct copy of the GW method for how they paint oh what's he called their Seraphon model where it's like a stegosaurus with a big crystal on its back I don't know why I can't think of the name of that thing um but it's not the Arcosotech but the other one this guy is his skin is the exact same so you start with a steel legion drab dry brush up with a lot of consecutive lighter browns with a wash of Reichland flesh shade as for the colors meaning you know the teal and the yellows and stuff I have recently become incredibly smitten with monument hobbies uh, what are they called pro acrylic paint line uh, and so my buddy Rob has been paying me for models and services and painting and that kind of stuff with with paints to help kind of refresh my paint line a bit and so uh, this is actually the teal and bright teal uh, used from pro acrylic so it's the normal teal on the bottom then I did a dry brush of the light and then the same thing with their yellows it's their yellow and bright yellow for everything else one thing I did do is right in between like where the blue or sorry the teal meets the yellow I actually went over with a, a very very painfully thinned out glaze of pterodon um, from contrast paints what is it pterodon turquoise or something right along these edges here if you can see that and that kind of just helps it blend together it really is this beautiful color that works really well for the teal and the yellow kind of adds a little hue of green to kind of blend between them I liked it a lot so with that I was able to accomplish all the things on my first milestone which feels so good because the last time we did this I was constantly behind uh, but having all the models built primed everything it's helped out immensely on to my next milestone it's going to be these guys this is where I really flesh out the aggressive parts of my army I think and when, when I'd say aggressive compared to like a giant apex predator it sounds funny but the predator as in the hero not to be confused with the t-rex the predator hero adds a whole bunch of things and makes regiments like slingers who are also in here super super dangerous we also have a thing of three raptor riders as well as a six stand thing of the hunting pack which I am very excited to paint now I went over in my first video why slingers are so good essentially they have all kinds of built-in buffs they are they're limited by range and, and and that kind of stuff but they do have a, a lot of rules to take advantage of when it comes to basically forcing your enemy to take resolve when they don't want to and that's amazing the hunting pack is more there for fun it's a thing that I wanted to run like I wanted to have a bunch of little tiny dinos running up I've seen them used against me in a game. I just, I love the control that they offer by being able to be so aggressive whenever you need them anywhere on the table. Now, as far as where I'm at with this, I have the hunting pack is built, but it's not primed. However, today is a nice day. I should be able to go do that. Uh, the raptor riders, all the raptors are built and primed. Um, three of the riders are built and unprimed, three are unbuilt in any way. And lastly, the slingers are built, primed, and they're on the painting table as we speak. Same thing for the predator, he's built, primed. I haven't touched him yet, but he's ready. So all in all, that should be a super easy project for me. Just one regiment this time, instead of the double-sized thing of Braves. And then some models that I'm just excited to paint. I'm very excited to jump into the hunting pack and uh, riders and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. But that is enough about me. Let's talk about the community. What have you guys been painting? We're gonna kick it off here. Um, one thing I wanted to point out again, if you're not familiar, if you go to the website Nerd Herder, and I'll just pull it up on my screen here, this is how we are doing the Army League, and you can kind of read the details of the league here, and people are just clicking on this little image and uploading pics of their progress. And so right now, we're gonna be going through those um, one by one. Our first champion today is Aaron Hasley, a fangirl, which is the best username ever. <laughs> I really do love it. Um, painting more Old Dominion. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is the same Aaron from the last painting league who absolutely crushed it with Old Dominion. And this is now just a way to expand, you know, build that army up into a full thing, or I guess First Blood is its own full game, but I meant like a full uh, Last Argument army. And here we have a whole bunch of those newer kits that are coming out. So one, and so if you're unfamiliar with these regiments, the big lady in the center is the Fallen Divinity, basically a, a mega hero for their faction. If you had to pick an Age of Sigmar equivalent, think of it as like Nagash is to death, right? A big centerpiece model that is so many points and, and, and encumbrance on list design and building that if you take the Fallen Divinity, it's kind of the center point of your list. There's no way to do that and much else. 
Um, but that's the whole point. It's a cool model. Like it does a lot of things. It's crazy awesome on the table and just, I don't know, just as a miniature. Uh, with the Fallen Divinity, we see a few different regiments. I see two of the Bowman variants and one of the melee. And these are the, the melee version are known as the Canifors, which is just, they get in there and thrash things in melee. And I believe this is pronounced Caratids is the ranged variant of them. But they're the same kit, it's a multi-kit. And uh, you did an absolutely stellar job with these. Here's a close up of your Fallen Divinity. Just absolutely wonderful. It's if you've never seen the model, they have a great um, zoom in and stuff like that on the Parabellum website. And what's really cool is it just kind of flows from like monster to statue to like abstract horror with like the rib cage and everything. Oh, it just, it looks terrific. He did a wonderful job. So fantastic work, Aaron. Let's move on. Next submission is going to be by Garant26, I believe is how it's pronounced. Uh, kind of jumped into the league a little bit later, so didn't have quite as much time. A lot of the folks who jumped in with City States are in that predicament where like, it took a while to actually get the models and stuff. I was kind of hoping to avoid that with how I timed out the league, but it was a little bit inevitable with uh, how global shipping has been lately. But anyway, some folks are just starting off and Garen26 took this opportunity to build and paint just a handful of guys, but then he mentioned in this post that he's working on uh, like scenery background, like for a diorama. And if you look in the background of this picture, he's got some, I mean, not only, first of all, are the City States models painted beautifully. That is like a, the perfect seafoam kind of green and I love it. Um, you've got the bases looking good. Their stand right ne next to them to the left is also stunning. Um, but it's one of those things that, like I looked at them, I was like, oh, those look like fantastic models. And then when I read the post about the diorama stuff, I just kind of got lost in the background of like the ferns and the pottery and the books and stuff. And I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I don't know. So you did a fantastic job. Um, you actually added another picture later on. You were basically able to fill or fill out like a third of that regiment right there with the little hero guy. So fantastic work on these. I love the silver and gold choice. Uh, I feel like your scheme really makes the clockwork vibe pop. Whereas if you had done them all silver or all gold, whatever it might, it might lose that, but I think you absolutely nailed it. And again, oh, that green just looks so good. Also shout out to doing the, um, the stripes uh, on the helmets. Like I, I love the striped horse hair type things. I did those in my fire slayers and it just adds so much character when you're staring down at a block of dudes who would otherwise look all the same. Our next few picks are gonna be from Naratio. And uh, he put together some Centaur Avatara. Now these, if you're not familiar, are sort of the heavy cavalry option for the Spires. The way that it that works is they essentially custom craft and create a vessel for whatever job they need done. And so when they realized we need battering rams, they put their minds together and came up with a literal centaur, but it's like this hodgepodge of monsters and parts and all these kinds of gross things. Um, I love the models. They're, they're actually go together quite well, I thought. Uh, I'd love to hear your feedback in ratio. I didn't see anything about build problems, but we'll go through the pictures here. You chose a nice bold red as well as a lot of bone elements and it looks like you went for white, at least for this horse one. I got a good picture here of the shield. You did a great job of picking out the details. It looks very clean. Um, and I think I have one of one of the, nope, sorry, one of the side shots. Here we go, yeah. The other thing that's odd about these guys is they actually have four arms. And I don't know if you guys ever had problems with this, but you can see here where one arm is holding the shield up, the arm below it is holding a sword upright. Whereas on the other side, one is the jousting arm and one is a parry with a little blade here. It's a little bit awkward and unclear where everything necessarily goes in the directions, but I think you did an absolutely great job. I mean, he looks like he's charging something down, right? They all do. So great job. The colors certainly pop. I mean, the blue eye on the red, I love it. And uh, I look forward to seeing more, man. Spires are so cool. And what I like about them is they can be as easy or difficult as you want them to be to paint. And uh, they look stunning. These next two come from user Mod Dank painting up some old dominion they are very popular this league i think <laughs> um and we got some i believe these are legionnaires or vexilla let me double check here oh praetorians i'm sorry yes this is the elite infantry the praetorians and doesn't have like uh the full um war band done but this is a great set of like yeah they, they, they look stunning i mean you did a great job on all of the 
is it the verdigris or whatever it's what's the word you use for like rusted um golds and that kind of stuff you did a great job i like how the plumes all really pop off the models and i'm curious to know how you did your bases i mean they look very simple but they look great i certainly think the the iron earth kind of thing really does well with the old dominion just because it's so dark on their models I, th I think a good popping base can really make your army stand out i think you're crushing it these look great wonderful job on the weathering and i cannot wait to see more this here was submitted by sand pirate completed uh his i believe it's the noble lord on horseback as well as a unit of crossbowmen he said he's very happy with the results and i can't argue with him those are some i mean they look great everything's uh most important thing with crossbowmen that i had a problem was with just getting them all to fit on the base correctly so like everyone's holding their weapons appropriately and also standing there and it's awesome this is what fighting the gray is all about so wonderful job buddy and then our last entry is actually from a uh, user named 8-bit jesus and uh uh, basically they're starting from scratch a little bit later on like some people were asking about when it comes to these leagues uh so they're jumping in late and they're happy to do it and i'm happy to have you so this is your progress you ch clocked in you submitted a picture you're on the show my friend you did great and also yes can we agree how the raptor riders are some of the coolest models that exist like for real look at that guy's snout just like getting ready to bite into something i'm very excited to see how your wadroon uh turn out and how they frankly how they differ from mine i love seeing different schemes and different takes on things and uh, i'm excited to have you join along with us so friends, that's going to do it for our Milestone 1 update. The next milestone, let me get that date for you here so I don't misspeak, April 15th. Okay, so we're kind of taking it in one month chunks. And again, if you don't want to paint Conquest, that's fine. Just pull out something. We're kind of doing like a third of an army list is the, roughly the idea. So if you have that equivalent in whatever game you want to do, come on over, hang out with us. It's about painting. It's not about stress or about commitments. It's about hanging out. Thank you to everyone who's contributing over at Nerd Herder. That site is doing wonderful and I hope you guys are enjoying using it as much as I am. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and I can't wait to see more of your work and your hobby progress coming soon. Happy Wargaming!